Good morning, boys and girls. How are y'all this morning? This is the Cap Guy show starring this guy over here, the Cap Guy, me, JT. We live in Oklahoma. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. They, I think they know that if they watch my show. Our show. Okay, our show. Where's Valentina? Oh, she's getting her heart done. Her heart done? Yeah, you know, her heart, her head shaped like a heart, so she's getting, instead of her hair, she's getting her heart done. She wants to look good for me. But I think she looked pretty good already. You do? Yeah. Well, good. Yeah, Aiden came over yesterday, and, and he played with us, and uh, then he left us. And he didn't put us back where he got us. I know, I told him. I said, don't get hair all over him. Yeah, I know. That's why she's getting her hair done, because there was hair all over her. <laughs> okay, I got it now. Well, we had a good day yesterday in sales. Yeah, we sure did. We sure did. We did over 300 in sales yesterday. Yep, we're going to get into that, show you, and then we're going to have a discussion on reselling and sourcing. So let's get into the show. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, view. You can make money doing this, and we'll get on with the show, right? Yeah, as soon as you get out of the way. I'm getting out of the way. I'm getting out of the way. Jeez, y'all have a great day. <laughs> yep, she's having her heart done, apparently. Well, anyway, by the way, vintage Adidas. There you go. I love Adidas. And yesterday, I was running for parts for my truck because it had another problem, and we thought it was another uh, bearing issue, but turned out that somehow on this new rear end, the, uh, the bolts had sheared off at least a couple of them. So that's why the wheel was wobbling the other day. And we come back from Duncan, we were about 25 miles from home. And I just started a shimmy in the truck and I nursed it to the house. And, uh, luckily, uh, it didn't cost but about 50 bucks to fix that. So I'm glad, but we were running for the parts that we thought we had to have. And we were going close to the bins, and it was Sunday afternoon, and we thought, let's swing in there for a minute. And we found some pretty good stuff. Um, I found a lot, and I'll show you these real quick. Found a, I don't normally pick up cassette tapes, but when you see these titles, now one of them's Selena, and there's a Star Trek warp thing in here. I don't know. You can tell me, uh, Captain Kirk. But Van Halen, um, Ozzy, ACDC, Doobies. There's another Star Trek Journey. REO High Infidelity, Inya, which I love Inya. ACDC Back in Black, that's about a $15 cassette tape. And I haven't comped all these, but you can see Aerosmith, ACDC again, Eagles. And these were in a bin, and there was a bunch of these games. Uh, there was a Wii Fit, but there was a ton of these PS2 voice ones. And they're not worth a ton of money. Oh, and a Spirograph. And this vintage 1995 Hot Potato. I guess it's a hot potato game, and he comps for about 15 to 20 bucks. There you go. I know you guys needed to hear and see that. But anyway, spent $23 and got a lot of good stuff. Um, trying to fix my sock here. Sliding down in my shoe. Anyway, we did have 14. Actually, we had 16 sales. And I'm waiting on payment on two of them, and then I've got about four sales this morning already off one product that I have no money in because I've already made all my profit off of it. Um, just waiting on payment. But one of the things I sold, uh, well, both of them were, it's about 80 something dollars in two sales. And one of them, he, he did communicate with me, and I'm okay with people communicating with me and saying, hey, I'm not gonna pay you for a couple of days. Hey, tell me that, that I'm not bugging you to pay me after a day. Um, and then the other person hasn't responded at all, and we haggled back and forth and finally negotiated a price, and then he hasn't paid. So I ain't too sure about that one, so we'll see. But anyway, we're going to get into what I sold, and then we're going to have a discussion. So get this correct. And I hope y'all are having a great day. And thanks again for the new subscribers. I did lose one sometime after I gained one yesterday. So I'm at 286, still trying to get to 300. All right. First thing I sold is a 1999 mousetrap game. Paid um, about 75 cents for this at the bins. I did check it out and it looks like it's complete. It's got the manual and everything in it. I sold this for $13.49 plus shipping. And I got that in a uh, 1095 box USPS. 
and I made $11.17 off that game. The next one is a t-shirt I got um, a while back. I paid 50 cents for this at a yard sale. It says, so many drums, so little time. So obviously it's somebody probably plays the drums that bought it. Sold it for $9.99 with free shipping and I made $3.58. Won't pick that up again. The next is a Roma Athletic Ireland jacket. It's a large, um, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. It's got the stripes on it and it's got Ireland. And the person that bought it has an Irish name, so I'm assuming that's that's why. Um, 535 invested at Goodwill, sold it for $17.09 plus shipping. I got that in a priority flat rate, and I made $8.83 off that uh, athletic jacket. The next is a The Who Distress T-shirt, large. It's a women's. I bought a bunch of these last summer for $0.50 cents a piece. I think they had about 24 of them. And they're all different bands, Iron Maiden, et cetera, et cetera. And I haven't sold a lot of the Who's until now, and it's part of my 15% off sale. And again, run the sales on your stores if you got slow sales. Uh, mine have definitely picked up since I've run these two sales. Um, 50 cents in, 8.50 out, plus shipping, and I still made 7.43 off that T-shirt. The next I bought uh, last week at Goodwill in Oklahoma City. Uh, it's Insanity. Anytime you find any of the P90X, Insanity, uh, some of the other workout stuff, comp it because uh, this stuff's valuable, and just like dumbbells are. And you, if you've watched my channel, you know how much I've sold dumbbells for $80 to $120 going all over the country just because people were locked down and couldn't work out in gyms, and we may get back to that. So definitely be on the lookout for that stuff. This is Insanity Total uh, Body Workout, Beach Body. It's the 10 disc set. It was in pristine condition. Nobody had ever written in the manuals. I showed it to y'all last week when I sourced it. I paid $8.51. on a, It was on Wednesday because I got my old man discount. And um, sold this for $39.59 within a week. Went media mail. And I made the, I lost just a tad on the shipping because the weight was a little heavier. But $24.64 was my profit off that. The next is a Triumph ball cap. This is a British motorcycle riders group. And there you go, it's got the British flag on it. And uh, I got this at the bins for 18 cents. It's a canvas cap and uh, it's a nice cap. Uh, paid uh, 18 cents for it, sold it for $12 plus shipping. And I made $11.26 off that cap. The next is a Playboy bunny straw hat. It's not in the greatest of shape, as you can see. It's kind of bent up and stuff, but whoever gets it may steam it and remold it. But um, it went to California, and I paid a quarter for this at a yard sale last summer for it. Sold it for $18 plus shipping. That went in a 12 by 12 by 8 box, and I made $17.62 off that hat. The next, if you remember yesterday, I showed you a vintage pair of Laker shorts, Champion. Well, these are vintage Phoenix Suns, size 36, Charles Barkley uh, jersey. And I've had this one for about a month or so. Um, I've sent a couple of offers out below the price that I actually got for it. And nobody wanted to pay that, but somebody decided he liked this classic jersey. So I had uh, 333 invested. I sold it for $42 plus shipping on top. And I made $34.39 off that jersey. The next is a Ben find. I've last, uh, about Christmas time, somewhere in there, I found a bunch of old postcards. These are Washington, D.C. It's a, a lot of about 15 cards. They've never been stamped. They've never been written on. There's the White House and the Washington Monument and Arlington National Cemetery, which if you've never been, I've been a couple of times, and it's a, definitely a solemn, solemn place. You need to check it out if you haven't been. Uh, Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, a bunch of other stuff, and Lincoln Memorial. And I didn't pay but maybe a nickel for this lot of cards. I found some other cards from other scenic places around the country. Um, I got an offer yesterday for $6 plus shipping, and I still made six seventy four dollars off of them. I made a little bit on the shipping. Um, I bought this last weekend at a yard sale. I paid $8 for it. It is a Sony CFD7 or S70 uh, cassette CD AM FM boombox. I checked it out. It was in very, very good condition. Again, I paid $8 for it. I sold it for $31 plus shipping. That also went in a 12 by 12 by eight box. And I made 
$20.15 off that stereo. Uh, this is a Fitbit Inspire. If you remember, my brother came up and we bought a couple of these brand new Fitbit Ones from 2012. Sold one the same day we listed it. We paid $5 a piece. We sold one for $129 and one for $115. And neither one of them worked. They couldn't connect. So we refunded the money, got them back. Somebody gave me a tip about calling Fitbit and they would replace them, but they replaced them with a newer model. The newer model wasn't worth the one we had, but we took it and uh, one of them I just let the customer keep it. I didn't want to hassle with calling and spending an hour on the phone and all that kind of stuff. So, plus I'd already been registered to try to connect the first one and I didn't want it to look, look dishonest. I wasn't trying to be dishonest. But um, anyway... Um, they sent a new one, a replacement. And again, it wasn't as, as much as valuable as the other, but, uh, so I basically have nothing into this. <clears throat> Sold it for 68 on a best offer with free shipping and made 55 24. The one that came back that didn't work. I ended up putting that on as parts only and sold it for $30. So I'll have to work out the details on that with my brother. Um, this one I found just a couple of weeks ago at a thrift store. It's uh, Keeping Bad Company. It's a flaming reaper on a motorcycle. Uh, let's see if I can get a closer picture. Here you go. It's pretty cool. Long sleeve. Uh, I believe it's a large um, crew neck type deal. Um, I paid, uh, let's see what I pay for that. Three thirty three. I actually got this at Goodwill then. Seventeen ninety nine plus shipping and I made twelve seventy four off that t-shirt. And here we go again. Yep, more of that doll stuff. Yeah, y'all make fun all you want. I bought these long before I bought the uh, the doll clothes that I sold for over $150. This is just a vintage lot. It was a little bag of a bunch of dollhouse furniture, and they're miniatures. And there's all kinds of stuff in here. There's, I'm going to switch this a little bit. There's a little dresser or stand. There's some lamps, starfish, uh fireplace stuff, a bear in a rocking chair, a little horse, beer bottles it looks like, or A&W bottles, whatever, a churn. And um, so I didn't pay much for these either, probably again about a nickel because they just don't weigh much. Um, I comped them at 35 cents though, so that's what I got in the in the system. Um, I sold them for $18 uh, plus uh, shipping and I made $15.09 off that. The next is a Oklahoma State Cowboys snapback cap. It's in really good condition. It is staying here in the state of Oklahoma. Uh, paid 18 cents for it at the Goodwill bins, and I sold it for $9 plus shipping, and I ended up making $9.24 off that cap because I made a little bit on the shipping. The shipping isn't very much because it's going here locally. Um, vintage ATP jean jacket. I found this at the Goodwill bins. I've had this probably since uh, November, December time frame. Uh, it's in really good shape. Uh, I'm not familiar with this brand, but any jean jacket I find, I'm going to pick it up. I had $240 invested based on weight. Sold it for $13.50 on part of my sale again. And um, I made, uh, thir it was $13.50. I made uh, $11.64. So on the day, my sales were, <clears throat> excuse me, 15 actually paid items. I had 17 sales. Um, thirty-three dollars and seventy cents in cost of goods. Again, that's the amount of money I spent on all the items that you saw in the video. My sales were three hundred and fourteen fifty-six, and my profit was two hundred and fifty oh three. Two hundred fifty oh three is a good day in sales. So, part of that is attributed to the sales uh, discounts, the ten percent. I've got five hundred items and five hundred on the fifteen. <clears throat> so, hey. Sale of sales, profits, profit. Take it, take it and run. All right, now we're going to get into a little discussion. Um, I watched a video and somebody had mentioned some things. Uh, one of them they had mentioned was about uh, being a new seller and how PayPal keeps your money and in eBay. Um, they're always going to do that to new sellers. Uh, new sellers got to be careful of scams, going outside of eBay, emails like Gmails and stuff. Don't do that. Or gift cards. Don't do that. And the other is um, um, you're good, they're going to hold your money in a lot of cases for a few days until they see that you're 
shipping and honoring the, the, the terms of the sale when somebody buys something from you. That's just, that's just basic. So if you keep your cost of goods low, you won't be out a lot of money and you'll get your money as soon as it delivers and it clear, everything clears, they'll get, put your money in your account, whether it's PayPal or whatever else you use. Um, so just a little tidbit on that. But the other comment that, that I heard and I wanted to expand on was somebody had said that they lived in an area kind of like uh, Kevin does at Commonwealth Picker where there's not a lot of sourcing opportunities. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to create a list of so many different ways to do this. You don't have to be near thrift stores if you're a rural or you can't get opportunities. And, and again, one of my viewers has said that, can't find any of the quality stuff that I find. So I made a list and I'm kind of going to go through it. Obviously yard sales, estate sales, thrift stores if you have access, flea markets, those are places you're going to go. Those are pretty common. Um, the others are uh, clearance retail. If you get to town and and uh, let's say you live 60 miles from town and you get to town, hit the retail stores and look for the clearance. Walmart has a clearance section. Um, all the Dollar Generals and Dollar Trees, I mean, not Dollar Tree, Dollar Generals, they all have kind of clearance stuff. You know, some of it may not be as valuable, but I've found some good stuff in Walmart's clearance aisles. Uh, Brit or water filter type stuff that I've paid 18 and sell for 50. So you got to look at that. The other would be obviously buying on eBay or Amazon and reselling it eBay, you can find stuff sometimes if you do the research, you're going to find stuff that you know is more valuable than what people are selling it for. Buy it and resell it. I've done that with jerseys and other things many times. Um, I don't right now because I got so much stuff to source or to list that I don't, uh, I don't mess with that as much. Um, the outlet bins, if you go to a major city, look for the Goodwill outlet bins. They're, they're just full of, of treasures and you can get them cheap. Um, your own stuff. I said this uh, many times in my videos. You can take your own stuff that you don't use anymore, whether it be video games, clothing in good shape. Maybe you've lost weight and now the 4X don't fit. Uh, you know, the same as uh, now you're a 2X. Sell that stuff. It's, it's in good shape. That's how you can get your money going. Sell your own stuff. Sell your family stuff. Now, with their permission, of course, hey, you got anything you want to sell? Uh, you know, hey, mom and dad, I want to sell this. Uh, you're not using it. Do you do you need it? Do that. Get some money coming that way. And then I have a deal where I work with my brother who lives in Texas, doesn't do eBay. He sends me stuff, and then we, I list it, sell it. He gets his cost of goods back. So if he went out and bought it at a thrift store or yard sale for five dollars, the first thing I do when I sell it is give him back his five dollars. And then we split the profit 50-50. Now, you can work out your own formula, 70-30, whatever you want to do. We work out 50-50 because I'm taking the hit on the sales, and I'm taking the hit. If this thing comes back, we got to work out something. And we've had that happen on the Fitbit, for example. So do that. Um, hey, because people tell me all the time, hey, would you sell this for me, and I'll work out a deal with you. I just have so much stuff, I can't do it. I do it for my brother, but you can... Definitely go to family members. Hey, grandma and grandpa, you got any old stuff you want to get rid of? And we'll work a deal. Instead of having a yard sale, I'll sell it for you. Uh, and, and we'll split the profits. And then comp. Comp everything. Um, online auctions is another one I forgot. Look at all, Google some online auctions and be careful of the new stuff, the new stock. You want to look for, um, for good deals. Um, auctions are another one. You know, if you have one uh, farm auction or whatever, go to those. But if you're locked down, if we're locked down again, I would say either eBay, online auctions, or family. You know, you're gonna you're gonna go to family and work out deals. There are ways to source. Always ways to source. And then again, comp, comp, comp. Don't just look at what something's selling for on eBay. Filter your phone or your computer and look at the sold comps, the recent sold comps for that item, and filter what it's sold for because that's what matters nobody cares what it's listed for it's what it's going to sell for okay so i hope i helped you uh new sellers for those of you been doing this i know you know this um drifter thrifters get that video up i want to see the dilemma you were in your moral dilemma and um he, he did a video yesterday and then lost it so i'm hoping he puts it back up and um as always i appreciate everybody all the new subscribers all the people that support my channel. Again, I'm trying to get to 300 first. That's the next step. Thumbs up, 
like, view, share, uh, tell your friends, and Cap Guy will talk to you tomorrow as he always does. Have a great day.